realagriculture.com is proud to bring you coverage of Farm Progress 2013 from Decatur, Illinois. We're here with Red Shieldroth from Kinsey. Uh, we want to talk about Kinsey's autonomy project. Uh, welcome to Real Agriculture, Red. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Kinsey's excited about uh, the autonomous system. We see autonomy as part of the future of ag. So we're putting a lot of our research and development time and uh, in investments into that. So talk a little bit about the project. Launched in 2011, um, really designed potentially to take a Take away the operator, the need for an operator, uh, and and some of the labor and all the some of that uh, that input in agriculture. Well, that's that's right. We have a lot of people coming to us say they just can't find skilled labor anymore. It's it's hard to hire these folks, whether they're going out in the oil fields or they're going in and, and uh, working into jobs jobs in town. It's just these are large, sophisticated pieces of equipment, and the people that are skilled enough to operate them are becoming few and far between and even harder to just hire them for say that spring planting or that harvesting time. So the need for labor is one of the driving forces of this, not just the return on the investment, but the fact they can't find anyone to run their grain cars today. So tell us about what you've done so far. Obviously you've done work with uh, planting, harvesting, a grain cart. Where, where's the project right now? Sure. We've demonstrated the technology with both our planters and our grain carts. Right now we're putting a lot of our effort into the grain cart, the autonomous grain harvesting system. And so that's any tractor pulling one of the Kinsey grain carts and we outfit the the tractor with a series of sensors. We take complete control of that from the brakes to the engine, of course to the steering. We augment it with some very sophisticated high-speed ruggedized computers and then we outfit sensors on the grain cart as well. And what that allows us to do is to get that operator out of the cab and put all the controls to the combine operator. The person harvesting actually controls the system and tells it what to do. So where do you go from now, uh, from here, Rhett? Um, you mentioned you've had some farmers trial you know, the, uh, the equipment, the technology, uh, where do you go from here? Well, that's right. Last year we trialed uh, with a small number of farmers last year with our autonomous harvesting system. And we, what we wanted to glean from that was how easy was it to, for them to learn, exceed our expectations in that regard. So there's really only four things the operator needs to know how to do. And that's press the button when they want it to follow, and when they press that follow button, it follows the combine around through the field like a little puppy dog. And then when they're ready to unload, they hit the unload button. It pulls up alongside of them, and they can unload in the go. Drives better than certainly I can drive as far as keeping that unload auger on top of the grain cart as you go through the field. When the combine was ready to uh, have the system unloaded into a semi-trailer, they, they hit another button, and it automatically goes to the field where it can be loaded in a semi-trailer. And then there's also a button park for it to just idle. So say you're in maybe soybeans where you're not using it as much and you want it to just wait for you at the other field, you can hit the idle button and it'll stand there waiting for you. Now where we're going with this is last year we tested it with a number of farmers. This year we're actually leasing it to a select number of farmers. We're not out there each and every day. We're, we're trying to find out is this ready for mass production. So the farmers are out there with the system on their own. If they need support, that'll be through the local dealer. And then from there, we're going to slowly expand the number of people that we sell or lease the system to and the geographic area for that. Well, it's a fascinating innovation and we'll, uh, we'll keep watching. Thank you. It's a very fun and certainly, as you said, fascinating innovation. Again, we see this as part of the future of ag and Kinsey's plans to be one of the leaders in that future. Great. Thanks for your time. Thank you.